to find the exit to the campground. I am here to tell you, we are going to see the biggest crater in the world. I don't actually know if it's the biggest one in the world, but they make a really big deal about it around here. We are in, where are we? Winslow, Arizona. We are in Winslow, Arizona. We are actually staying at Meteor Crater RV Park, so now we're headed to see the actual crater that the RV park is named after. We didn't really plan ahead. It closes in two hours. We have a coupon. So we're hoping that we'll get to see everything. There's a museum, there's the actual crater, apparently there's parts of the meteor. So hopefully we'll have enough time and if we don't, I feel like I'm really good at negotiating and I could just ask them if we could come back tomorrow. I also forgot what it's like to go in public around other humans and that's why my jeans are tucked <laughs> into my very tall socks and my shoes. And also there's hair all over my shirt and my shirt is very wrinkly. I must say it's very refreshing being able to park in the normal person parking lot instead of the bus and camper parking lot where we usually have to park. All right, we are going to mask up and we are about to enter the spaceship. And I have a coupon. Actually, it's not a spaceship. <laughs> and I made sure my pants were zipped. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Keeping it classy, babe. Yeah. Door scary. Hi, how are you? Oh, this is the map. But if you have any questions, <laughs> I can answer. It doesn't look like a map, does it? No. I don't think so either. Now, this looks like a map. Yes. Okay, we just got our map tour, and we just found out that our tickets are actually good for up to two weeks, which isn't super relevant because we won't be here for two weeks, <laughs> but if we can't cram everything in today, we can come back tomorrow or Friday and check it out, which is a big relief, because that was a lot of money, and there's only two hours before they close. So let's go get in as much as we can, and then we'll go from there. We just spent about 40 minutes in the gift shop and have not seen anything else. But we got some really cute gifts for Gianna, our niece. So now we're gonna see if we can see the crater before it actually closes. Oh God. Earth's orbit. Understanding and observing these objects is critical. Once you enter and are seated in the spacecraft, please remain seated. Yes. Alright, so Beth is in doing the simulation and I will not be participating because I will throw up everywhere. Hello again and welcome aboard. Commander Perseus, any last minute words before departure? Nah, Jackie. I think our crew is ready and excited to get going. Folks, prepare for takeoff. This is your flight director at Mission Control. You've been cleared for takeoff in five. Three, two, one. Here we go! Jackie, first stop. This ship is equipped with state-of-the-art space drones. Go on, Jerry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Give me the face Don't worry, we saved the planet and now we're global celebrities. <laughs> It was super fun. I don't know if you would have, like, like, it wasn't scary like a roller coaster, but, like, I know you don't do well with 3D stuff, 
Yeah, she offered me a non-moving seat. She said oh, yeah. they have three of them, and I said, it's probably best for everyone if I just pass. It was cool. Did you walk around the end of the building, guys? If you have hats on, please hold on to them. meteorite in your hand and then I'll see how it reacts to my magnet it's either gonna dance it's gonna stay stuck to your hand and not move at all or it's gonna jump directly to the meteorite or to the magnet Okay, I found it. The plane? Yeah. Hey, remember that one time we got yelled at for staying behind to take pictures? It wasn't even us. I know. It was like my worst nightmare. I was like <laughs> being publicly shamed by a group and it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> you have flashbacks to middle school. Oh my gosh. All right, let's find that. I was trying to be nice. They wanted a picture. She said we could take pictures. We took a picture. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You, you show that one who's boss. Yeah. Are we gonna get locked out? No one else is here. It's really weird though. Spend the night in the crater? Locked in a crater for a night. Oh man, you can only use one eyeball. How many eyeballs do you want to use? Two? I can't see with only one eye! He's got a little American flag by him. You found the astronaut? Yeah. Holy cow, that hole really is big. Weird. <laughs> they shut the lights off. <laughs> we had to leave. <laughs> Actually, they were really sweet. As Beth went into whatever virtual thing that was, it all powered down and went vroom, and the light shut off. And he was like, if you guys still want to look around, I can turn it back on. And I was like, no, we're really hungry, so where's food? But we might come back. I thought it was cool. I did too. After our fun at Meteor Crater, we were off to Cottonwood, Arizona. So in order to get out west in the warm weather before it got cold, we had to be on a certain travel schedule, which means that we haven't stayed longer than a week in any of the destinations we've stayed at in the last two months. So that unfortunately means that we've not gotten more than one weekend in any given location. And of course, there are things that we have to take care of on the weekend that normal people have to take care of too, like laundry and groceries and meal prepping for the week and all of those things. So since July, we have been moving every two days, three days, five days. So now we finally made it to Arizona and we are staying put for two whole weeks. And that means that we need to settle in and find some grocery stores and some laundry. Let's talk about laundry on the road. It's something that seems pretty simple, but it actually can get quite complex and confusing really quickly. When you're moving from campsite to campsite, you really don't know if they, one, have laundry facilities. Yes, hi, do you guys have laundry facilities on site? Which here, we just found out they don't. 
two, what kind of facilities they have. If it's a big one, a small one, if there's two washers, if there's six washers, it really changes the dynamic of just being able to do laundry when you want to versus, oh, there's only two washers, so we have to wait our turn. Another thing we learned is that each laundry facility at each campsite has a different way that you pay for the laundry. Some you use good old fashioned quarters, some you use a charge card, and some they give you these weird Aladdin tokens that we used to have when we would go to the arcade when we were little. So really you don't know what you're getting into until you get here. Typically we make sure our laundry is done before we travel so we don't have to worry about these situations. And this time I thought, nah, we'll just wait till we get to the next campsite. And as there's no laundry here, we have to now go to a laundromat. So we're gonna take you along on that adventure with us because that's the reality is sometimes you get to pop in, do laundry quickly at the campsite, and then other times you have to travel and go find a laundromat. So we're gonna make the most of it. It might seem kind of boring hanging out at a laundromat for two hours, but we take it as an opportunity to focus and get some business done. Wait. But where, oh, where is our laundry soap? Where, oh, where is my laundry soap? <laughs> wow. Surprise! Where everyone keeps their laundry soap. Be good. Stay out of trouble. You ready to do some dirty laundry? Let's do it. We planned on taking you along for the entire laundry experience, but apparently we lost our footage beyond this point. So uh, let's just head back to the campsite. Do you know where we're going? Yeah, back to the campsite. Here's what happened. Our campsite was in a mountain. We went to the top of said mountain to get a package from the mailroom. Court saw a trail behind the building and thought it was a shortcut back to our campsite. Turns out, it took us two and a half hours to get back to our campsite. Do not grab onto that, that's barbed wire. Oh my God, I'm so terrified. Not for me. Next up, seeing our first tarantula in the wild. Ooh, look at it through the camera. It's so big. Beth is trying to take the panels off of Clam Hut and so. <laughs> What are you gonna do? Go away. Get the f out of here. No, actually, get the f out of here. Okay, we just looked up some information about them and what did it say? They're nice. They're nice. I don't want to go near. And if you get bit, it's like a bee sting, but they don't bite unless they're threatened. And if they're threatened, they rub their back legs and shoot hair at you. You could use some hair. Maybe they could shoot you some new brows. Yeah. Are you just gonna leave it there? Yeah, I'm not touching it. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Is it still there? Yeah, I think it's trying to pretend like it doesn't exist. Me too, buddy, me too. That is the biggest spider I've ever seen in my life. Ooh, I'm in flip-flops, I gotta go. Okay, so we just got to our destination in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, it's time to go get food. We saw an In-N-Out burger when we were pulling in. A lot of people we know, they're like, how have you never had In-N-Out burger? And we're like, because we're from Michigan. So, Jacob, one of Beth's colleagues, shout out to Jacob. We love Jacob. He's our friend and best colleague. And by the time you see this, Jacob, you better be subscribed to our channel. Anyway, he says we have to go try it. He told us the meal we have to try, so we're gonna go get some food. So he is the drive-thru? No. You're laughing at me, but I don't see a drive-thru. I think well, he I is think, the drive-thru. So after our whole four minute drive, we are here. That is a very hangry walk. You probably won't be able to hear me, but there's only like four things on the menu, like the entire menu. And it's kind of like a Culver's from back home with like a diner vibe. Oh my God. <laughs> Do 
Beth doesn't believe me that there used to be a place called Hot and Now. And it literally tasted exactly like what I just ate. It almost has the same branding. That's what it reminded me of. It had butter, gluten, cheese, all of the things we should not eat, but it was very delicious. After the famous In-N-Out burger, plenty of Costco trips, and a Dan and Shay concert, we were headed further south to what we would discover as one of our favorite hidden gems, Bisbee, Arizona. does just keep going down and down and down. to town for some scoring. We had no idea there were so many stairs. And unfortunately, what comes down has to go back up. What? You okay? No! Stop asking that. I feel like I'm dying out my throat. Yeah? Yeah. The Bisbee stairs are no joke. The Savannah stairs were nothing compared to this. But even with all the stairs, Bisbee had us hooked. Tell me you fit in a town without telling me you fit in a town. 